end in ultimate, I think he's gone to like game three last dog. There might have been a few, okay. uh, there might have been a few times in Smash Four where I two owed him, but uh, it's been very stressful most of the time. So Skittles regged as well, and I know there are a lot right. of Twitch clips of Hungrybox raging against Skittles, so I'm gonna seed them to play real quick. <laughs> All right, where is this dude at? Uh, Skittles is very good. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is like we're waiting for. We're 5K. You know, where Where are you at, bud? Where are you at? Uh, the fact that Skittles H box happens is really funny. Skittles is actually hella good. Uh, very good youngling player. Uh, from somewhere in the Midwest, somewhere in like the cornfields. I don't know. Um, I live behind a cornfield. Like, hold up. <laughs> um, all right, we got him in there, and then. Um, All right. what's it called? And then, also, HBox has a lot of backstory against Young Link in Melee, uh, if you're familiar with history. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. Um, and the fact that Young Link is good now, and Puff is now the low mid-tier, uh, is an interesting turn right. of events. Well, I, I would like to interrupt this real quick. WSU Deet Unbeat at CD10 2008 has made a revelation on Twitter. He says, Mega Man is the hardest to use in this game. Like, he doesn't even have a forward tool. <laughs> hey, all I'm saying, you press down B, you walk around a little bit, you jump, and you throw, repeat. Boom. Out, like, 45 seconds? I don't even target. kind of have a Mega Man, so I, I can't say. Speaking wow. of Mega Man, uh, Mega Jark Man. Has, <laughs> has... Yo, we got... Hey, Timbo, what's up? It's Timbo, it's us, Roy DK. I, I didn't give Toast permission to enter this. What? That was... <laughs> oh, so you're just saying any black person right. has to play right. 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 I, I, I'm gonna remember this. I'm gonna remember this. <laughs> hey, no. Ooh. Ooh. You ain't safe anymore. Alright, but the real talk. Uh, I actually respect Jark for choosing the best Mega Man color. It's that orange is actually a surprisingly good orange alt. Most orange alts are yeah. not good. That is. I, I do love orange. A lot it is my favorite color, uh, right before purple. Uh, Purple's a good honest, choice. As a DK player, this is my doubles nightmare. <laughs> oh yeah, it's an absolute disaster. Oh, just because of what just happened, I've thrown to downer. You can't do anything. You can't do yeah. anything, and then like random hits get you combo to death. It's hilarious. It's yeah, like, right. both of those characters just connect off straight hits. Um, for, I do like the attempt they're coming from 5K using a uh, giant punch to uh, B reverse and try to hit Jark with the back air. Ooh, that, yeah, if he actually rolled into that and shielded, that was gone. Yeah. Mega Man's down smash is really strong. It's like one of the strongest in the game. It is. But like, it only has like a few frames for the strong hitbox, and then everything else is just like sad I think that's also a shield break setup. Yeah. It is. Yeah. 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 If so, you do it like, a, it was a good decision to roll. He just rolled the wrong way. Pretty sure if you like do uh, leave shield metal blade down smash, it will like break relatively at healthy. Alright, uh, do not agree with that double-edged dance here from Roy. Definitely could have gotten an F-Smash or F-Tilt, and it would have killed Dark. But, everything's looking pretty good. Um, this DK... This is a scary list situation. Go. There's a lot of big yeah. hitboxes to get around for the Mega Man on the team. Alright, good back here coming out from 5k. Alright, uh, this Roy is gonna have to, like, kind of... I, I really like what he did there, shielding uh, the Mega Man F-Smash. So that 5k could get back safely. Very smart. If, uh, it's right. gonna be like holding onto a stock is gonna be really, really important right now, or maybe trading. Uh, cause I feel like they have a lead, but it, like, they have like, it's a lead, but right. it's like really, really fragile. And this is like one of those weird situations where it's like up five to four, but like if both players die, how is Roy really still fast. alive? Yeah, it actually okay. kind of blows my mind. Uh, gets his teammate, unfortunately. Right. Yeah, that was not worth it. Should have gone for the downward angle of double edge dance. Especially from Mills Sage. Um, Mega Man actually pretty heavy, and even though Young Link is kind of light, there was no way he was going to die, especially due to the multiplayer ratio knockback. <coughs> Alright, Nodger, still killed though. Oh, did Mega Man's dash deck crossed up? <laughs> He's able to get back there for you. And he fought it! What a loser! I actually hate uh, how like yeah. unpredictable crossing up is in this game. That's now that I'm playing Oreo, I love how unpredictable crossing up dash attacks. Oh, of course you would. Oh yeah, uh -huh. that's you don't even know what's gonna happen. That's all right. I definitely think this Roy needs to start doing like downward angle more to to like on stale his double edge chance and his uh, his teammate's gone. Take the stock, help him out. That's he's right. okay. That was a rather long time to and wait. 
but yeah. Uh, definitely the player not grab could have just gone for the kill, honestly. But I, I do think Hoodie needs to start playing a bit more range. Don't uh, know what he was going for. I thought he had his jump too. Yeah, I thought he should have been all right. That was a. Uh... Yeah, uh, Roy actually does have a pretty good matchup against Young One. Yeah. The, the hardest part is like Roy's weight allowing him to get hit by a lot of projectiles, but at the same time, um, he's still getting he closing can, distance. Yeah, he can he can just like um, carry Young Wing whenever. I know Toast. For that uh, back air. I know Toast particularly doesn't like it uh, when Cola does like instant double jump approaches. Yeah. Uh, it's actually a really hard angle for Young Wing to cover. Yeah, I. I also don't know why Roy isn't trying to run over and help the DK on land. Roy, go help him! So this is a very Stop interesting playing. 2v1, where it's like, it's very fragile. One kill happens, uh, and yeah. Young Link is really good at 2v1s. Uh, having teamed with Young Link quite a bit, um, it's really, really, really hard to make something happen with this character. I That's... definitely think that this Roy needs to start doing downward angle and worry about damage at these percents. Has to watch out. Yeah, especially if you don't have an edge guard planned on him. Like a lot of the downsides of the Unlucky doubles is that he's really easily edge guarded by two people. He's easy to edge guard yeah. by one, but like two help, makes it really rough. Help if he gets your teammate! Off, help your teammate! Oh my gosh! He's going off really, really deep for it. If he hits his tech, oh, there's no tech. Right. No. Nope. All right, all right. Okay, I actually going off Sasher was risky because if he got sour spot, he would have probably lost. Him. He but might have I been able to. Think... I don't know. I wasn't convinced that Young Link was dead there. Young Link might have yeah. been able to. Yeah, he was yeah back probably have yeah. been. Young Link's yeah, snap uh, is annoyingly large. That's. That was probably that was probably like a, the weakest two v one I've seen. Like even though they won the game, uh, Roy missed a lot of key opportunities to help DK out because a lot of those could just been hit by like F tilt. And like going back to the matchup spread, like just do down throw and juggle with up air and trade off with DK with DK on platform and you can just like get Youngling to like 50 or 60 percent and like I know in the past actually that blocked into uh we saw Goblin versus Skittles and that was Roy Youngling uh Skittles actually took it 2-0 because Goblin switched off of Roy to Cloud Game 2 which was much worse matchup in my opinion I know uh Toast does not like Cloud it was uh yeah apparently both win it but I think it's harder for Cloud just because of the recovery. I know the common consensus is like even or winning for Cloud, uh, whereas it's like it's commonly agreed that Roy's just winning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But at the same time, uh, I do think it's like Cloud's more of a Wi-Fi buff, whereas Roy is... Um, I think Roy is like loses some gain some from Wi-Fi. I don't think Roy's particularly hurt, but I don't think he's particularly buffed either. A lot of people say you can just brainlessly mash with the sorties. I'm like, not really. If someone holds shield... You're like, like kind elite of, smash but... Young Link beats Elite Smash Croy. I can believe just it. Because, just, just because of Boomerang and Fire Arrow. That's about it. Young Link's another interesting character. I think uh, Toast, I used to think of like Young Link was like a broken Wi Fi character. Uh, having talked to Toast about it a decent amount, I think Young Link gains a lot, but also loses a lot. It's like another character where he's like, one style is buffed a lot, whereas another aspect of his gameplay is like significantly nerfed. Um,. I think it's, like, pretty rough for Young Link, like, up close. Um, and he misses, like, a lot of confirms and stuff. He's able to get, like, damage really easily because no one can run shield properly because they're all, like, do a run shield and then their shield ends up getting input delayed and so they miss time it and they get arrowed for free. But, like, they also end up living to, like, 800% because Young Link can't hit a single kill confirm and, like, going for any rainy kills is actually really hard as that character. Uh, Thinking I a little while about their counter picks. I do have to run and do something a little bit. Hopefully be back in like five or ten minutes. Has your exam happened or uh check mod stuff. Uh Well I'm not able to because I have to flip screens in order to or I'll have to stop off stream match. I guess I can, because I'll stream. We have double inkling. I know both of these players play these characters. Um Up until this point I would not been a witness to the Mega Man. Um <laughs> Team, but Ooh. all right, second. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> uh, Tatsu is out, but we are in. So far, we have double inkling uh, against the Roy DK team still, uh, and it's looking a little bit. 
more controlled. I feel like it was really chaotic before, but this looks... Well, I don't know, Hoodie's in some trouble. Jark in the corner against DK Roy is not a fun place to be. Uh, this is a very blue stage, I just realized. They are painting. That's... <laughs> That could be like one of the frustrations against playing against Link, like, right? It's not just like getting pinged up. Oh, he missed the S match. That was a that side was a side B S match right there, right? That very. Uh, what was the first time? I'm a little bit behind. Oh, he's like about a hundred. Those. Uh, you can match. You can match out. Uh, okay. Right there. Yeah, you have to have a really good match, but really like 120. Uh, was kind of like the match for Gotcha. Good to know. Yeah. Up, up smash does not hit very. Yeah, that's what he went for, and I, I realized I missed. I was like, ooh, that seemed like a mistake. But... Yeah, when in doubt, a lot of times, it's like, it's like, full hop there, and then they box the for so long, you'll usually catch it for a there. Yeah. And I think one of the downsides of being DK here is if you don't survive, you're going to take damage so fast. Kind of like the same thing as, like, the last team, uh, where the problem is the amount of damage that, like, DK ended up taking and he wasn't able to live long enough with it to make it count. They almost did, but, um, it's like, it's like, against a team like this, DK just got to accept the fact you're, like, starting at 100, and you're gonna be at 150 really fast, so you have to make good time with it. I guess I'm, oh, but Hoodie coming with the save, not letting the, uh, the Pokemon Stadium setup work. I don't know. Yeah, with Roy DK against Double Link, Link, um, DK's mostly gonna be really useful off-stage. Sounds weird, because but the edge guard on Inkling is actually really easy. Is it just uh is it just like Nair? Uh it's it's aerial hand slap. Oh aerial yeah. Hand slap. It's it's aerial spinning comp. So that makes sense. You just drop off and you can like two frame them five or six times, right? And yeah, they and they have a predictable yeah. angle, it's like a reactable thing yeah. too. Yeah. Oh but he forwarded off stages, you're not making that, yeah. And this much more decisive game it looks like it'll be. Uh Roy without a jump, Roy's gonna have to make something happen. I feel like Roy is like one of those characters that could be a crazy 2v1. Ah, uh, he's just, he's dead. Bye. That is, uh, yeah, caught jumping. Much quicker, much more decisive game. Jark and Hoodie playing characters that they play. Uh, playing their actual mains, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know if Hoodie's... I know he Hoodie was Wolf and switched to Inkling. I don't know if he's switching back to Wolf or not at any point. But these are characters that they both have gone pretty consistently in tournament. Um... Uh, who is next? That's 1-1, one, one, right? Uh, I believe it was a 2-0, because I believe uh, uh, that was a 2v1 <laughs> comeback, the first game for Hoodie and Shark. Wait, no, it wasn't. It was just 1-1. No, no, no. It's yeah, it almost one, was, one. but the Roy, Roy got it. Yeah, 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 I remember the Roy downer. I forgot. For those of you who are entering <laughs> singles, we just input the relative skill values for all of the singles bracket. Um... So there are 16 players, you know, that are seated to make it out of, or into top 32 winner side, and then 16 seated to make top 32 loser side. You can kind of consider the, this the same seed uh, for this kind of bracket. So now what we're going to do is an admin and I are going to go through and make sure there are no conflicts um, in pools for top 32, as far as regional conflicts. Uh, I'm trying my training partner, uh, winner round three. Excellent. I had someone last <laughs> week ask to, uh, it was pools, like, losers round three, and they were seated to fight their training partner. I was like, I'm not, I'm not changing. Just don't lose, forehead. There's no conflicts for losers. No, that's, that's not how that works. All right, it was actually, yeah. like, a uh, thing back in the day at ALs, like, really, really early AL history, where they'd be like, hey, uh, like, the ZMS don't seat us to fight each other, and they wouldn't, uh, but they would, like, seat us, like, on opposite sides of bracket. Uh, so that we would always play losers round one if we both lost, and we were, like we weren't good. So uh, it actually happened a lot. You can see for losers round to avoid losers round one, but anything past that is ridiculous. That's a. Uh, uh... I am kind of glad I missed last game. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it was I, I a pretty quick it. steamroll, honestly, uh, for the Inkers. I I could hear it, but like I saw a glimpse of it. Oh, he is so blue, or purple. I don't know, somewhere between there. It's blue. All right. I'm colorblind. <laughs> oh, boo -hoo. Okay, splatter shot to me is the most infuriating mechanic. In the game. It is. I don't understand it, and it makes me mad. That is. Yeah, I should probably uh, figure out how to change it. You can until frame 11, then you can. Are you referring to the neutral B or the, uh, the, uh. The neutral B. Okay, yeah. The rapid jab annoys me. I'm just like, why? 
The rapid jab annoys me, but it's like, I understand how to beat that. I actually just don't have a plan yeah. to just neutral me. <laughs> rapid jab isn't a block string, right? Like, yeah. The solution to rapid jab isn't just run away, even if you're gonna get by your shield, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is looking much more commanding. But how is Roy at 188? Oh my god. Actually, that makes complete sense. Have you seen how quickly, like, Inkling gets damaged? The, the... Inkling gets damaged yeah, a lot well, quicker I mean, than they get kills. That's... I, I meant, like, staying alive. Like, I know Inkling has the damage. But if we think back to game one, the, the player's actually kind of been stock taking all the time. Yeah. But very I, strange. That's, uh, like, usually it's the, the DK that goes in and the... Uh, or the, the Roy that goes in and the DK that it stock tanks, but... I do find it weird that, like, this matchup is pretty bad for DK. So having the, like, better spread do worse. And, like, Garth? Garth has said that he does not like fighting the world. That makes sense. There's, uh... I know from wow. Crom's <laughs> end, it's actually... Shot. You're toxic. Oh, that was a really, really bad spot to get I beat. And that's a lead. Dark side. Yeah, Red Team actually looking pretty comfortable right now. I, all right, so he's starting to do downward double edge dance a bit more. I do like that. Oh no, Spain conjured you. Does the uh, each individual hit of the downward double edge dance on stale the other hits? Um, no. Okay. It all reads as one move. I see. I may be wrong on, on that, <coughs> but if it does, then that's kind of nice. Yeah, I feel like that's something that like should probably be looked into by Royce if they uh, aren't sure yet. I mean, because it is a good damage out of source, but they it all does relatively the same damage. But like unstaling the like the powerful hit, damage. yeah, that could be the difference between like a forty-five percent yeah. kill and a forty-six percent kill is a big difference. <laughs> yeah, which is like, I believe it's like eight or nine hits to fully unstale. Move. A lot of people at high percent. Um, it's like another one of those really, really fragile positions where someone loses Ooh, stock first. Coming out from Jark has to stay alive uh, if they're probably going to come back from this. I feel less good about Inkling's chances to make the 2v1 than uh, the Young Link. But. Right now, this TK is doing a really good job <laughs> of just Ink like oppressing. Oh, him. and Jark just is not able to recover. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a very big uphill battle for Woody. Possible, but I I don't like the chances. That's uh. Yeah. What is Roy doing? Roy, he's just Roy, looking at him. He's just looking. Okay. Roy, Roy, help him, bro. Uh, you cannot just let your big body teammate get double like. No, that. he's a man of honor. He's he's a, he he would never two v one anyone. One v ones only. That's. All right. Wow. Go All right. Well, hey. the Roy might be a man of honor. The DK is not. Going for Miss Tech setups on Wi-Fi. Come on, you're better than this. That is a. Uh... And is that it for me? That is it. No recovery. No chance. Just chuck right. into the blast zone. Yeah. I feel and like that's uh, a seating upset right there. Red team wins 2-1. It is. Unfortunately, uh, I do have to go prepare for my exam now. Uh, yep, you got a whole five minutes for it, right? Or... Uh, it becomes available in five minutes, but I can't start until six. Uh, okay. I right, see, I see. Okay. So... It's been nice hunting. I don't know if I'm going to be back later tonight. I'll Understandable. still be around. Shoutouts to Shit. FD Asylum for the follow. That is just a few moments ago. Hey, uh, have a good rest of the stream, and I will talk to you all later. Alrighty, see you, Tatsu. Alright, yeah, thanks, Tatsu. Next Ooh. up on stream, we're going to have Wags 5000, which is the DK Roy team, against Moist and Volts. Okay. So, high probability of triple DK. Three Donkey Kongs and a Roy. And this is uh, this is common, right? Ohio doubles to have at least two Donkey Kongs. I remember playing as a double DK team. I had a great